It's the late 60s and the zombies just after disbanding unknowingly blew up in America with their song Time of the Season on the heralded Odyssey and Oracle album. Lead singer Colin Blunstone moves on to a solo career and the rest of the band pursued other musical work or even returned back to their day jobs. The zombies as we knew them were finished, but a sneaky company in the United States saw this as an opportunity to resurrect them illegally with two different bands. And two of those band members even went on to create the legendary ZZ Top. This is the incredibly bizarre story of musical imposters pretending to be the zombies. If you go onto Spotify, Apple Music, or even YouTube right now, you're not only able to listen to your favorite musicians, but you're also able to see their photos, bios. Some of them are so detailed. But in the 60s, before the internet, you'd be lucky if you even knew what your favorite band looked like. And in America, evidently, many people didn't even know what the zombies looked like. So the unscrupulous and honestly rather cunning company Delta Promotions saw the disbanding of the zombies as an opportunity to cash in with their imposter bands. One of these bands was a glorified cover band. They looked like the zombies, sounded like the zombies, and when they toured, people loved them. On the other hand, the other zombies imposter, nicknamed the Texas Zombies, played just one of the original zombie songs for their set and played their own music for the rest. Quite an ingenious way to get people to listen to your music. The Texas Zombies had two members that you may recognize, Dusty Hill and Frank Beard, co-members of the legendary Texas band ZZ Top. When questioned about this debacle by reporter Daniel Ralston, Dusty Hill admitted it was true and hilariously comments, it was the 60s, man. It may seem unbelievable that this sort of thing could have even happened, but think about it. The zombies were an ocean away and didn't even know the success of Odyssey and Oracle. Of course, with that kind of money on the line for a successful album, people are gonna come out of the woodwork and try to take a piece of the pie. But the real zombies found out. Member Chris White says, people were calling me all over, telling me how bad these zombies were. People begged me to say that they are not the real zombies. It's really been a nasty thing. Seriously, think about that situation. You were part of a successful band that ended up falling apart. You had to lose your band and you had to go take a regular day job. And as your luck was just turning around and your album began to take off, some other people across an ocean are masquerading as you, making money off of your work. I'd imagine most people would feel violated, but Delta Promotions thankfully didn't win in the end. Sometimes all this copyright infringement and lawyers can be useful to an artist, even if it is just to protect the record label's assets. Delta Promotions' fatal step was actually creating an imposter band for an animated band, The Archies, based on the Archie Comics universe. Don Kirshner, who had a hand in creating The Monkees, hired session musicians to create a song for this animated band called Sugar Sugar, which became a massive hit. Sugar. Oh, honey, honey. Well, when Don got wind that Delta Promotions was using a band to pretend to be the Archies, he sent the hammer down. Don Kirshner and his team of network television lawyers sued Delta Promotions. This lawsuit was spread by Rolling Stones magazine exposing Delta Promotions and force owner Bill Kehoe to make a public response about his behavior. You might have expected him to apologize, right? Nope. He goes down guns a-blazing, stating he was quitting the music business because of all the cheats, fakes, and liars. That's a funny way to look at it, but it wasn't all for nothing. Texas Zombies imposters Dusty Hill and Frank Beard went on to become members of ZZ Top, and you have to wonder if their participation in this farce helped them get there. And as for the real zombies, the band that made it just after they fell apart? Well, although some members have changed, Rod Argent and Colin Blundstone reunited in 2004 and play live till this day, reclaiming their original band name, The Zombies. If you enjoy these videos and want to support the channel, please consider becoming a patron. My videos will always be free and this is a great way to help me make them better for you. Check out my debut album, The Hollyhobs, on Spotify and Apple Music and click the like button, subscribe and notification bell because that is the best way to get notified when a new video is released. See you next time.